Today's video is sponsored by Wildcard Football. Looking for a fun arcade style football game for the entire family? Well look no further than Wildcard Football, a brand new officially licensed NFL football game that has just about every feature that Madden players have been begging for for years. I was recently given the opportunity to have exclusive access to play this game before its October 10th release. And in today's video, I'm going to share my experience with you guys, as well as give you guys my honest review so you can decide if this is a game that you would have interest in. But before I do, if you guys want to see me do more videos like this about wildcard football or any other football games on the market, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section, as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate all the support. The first thing I noticed when playing this game is how unique yet familiar this game feels, and that is because if you ever played classic arcade NFL titles like NFL Blitz, NFL Street, or even one of my personal favorite games, Mutant League Football, you will know exactly where the inspiration for this game comes from and what this new game is trying to create as it feels like a blend of some of the best elements from those games combined into one. Not only does this game feel like the creators actually listened to the feedback of millions of disgruntled sports gaming fans, but it feels like it was made by the fans itself, as they have answers for features that we have been waiting for in other football titles for years that we never get. But I want to first start from the beginning and explain the layout of wildcard football, as the layout of this game should feel very familiar to anyone who plays Madden Ultimate Team, as you'll be creating a team in the exact same way, only they call it a dream squad. If you followed my channel long enough, you may know that Mutt used to be my preferred game mode. And I never told anyone this, but I stopped playing Mutt in recent years because of how predatory I felt it became. The biggest difference that I noticed in Dream Squads from Wildcard Football is that number one, I couldn't even find an option to buy players or packs. And I'm not even sure if this option is in the game. It does have a store tab, but it didn't even take me anywhere when I clicked it. But my point is that this game gives you so much free content to enjoy that you probably won't even need this anyways. As I literally unlocked everything you see on your screen here simply by completing the tutorial. The tutorial, and that's the point. With wildcard football, buying the game is enough to actually enjoy the game. Their goal is to show you appreciation by playing, not nickel and dime you to death by selling you packs, knowing that you will never get the player that you want in those packs anyways. In wildcard football, getting upgrades like better players, uniforms, and celebrations couldn't be easier since you don't have to compete with the market, as all you have to do is go into the collections tab and trade cards for whoever you want. And you can literally get whatever player you want for a set price of cards, as this value will never change. So how do you get cards to trade? It's simple. You just trade the players that you don't want anymore for tickets. No coins, no training points, or whatever other scam currency EA puts out to make it harder to get the players you want. Just simply trade the players you don't want anymore and get to pick your favorite players for your team. And the tier system makes it fair and balanced in gameplay, as all the players are ranked from common to rare to epic and legend, which means all players in those tiers are rated closely enough that the focus is more on just picking which players you like, rather than picking a player that you might not like as much just so you can have a higher rated or faster player on your team. So even though Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the league, he costs the same as all these running backs and is somewhat similar in rating, which means I can just take the running back that I like the most rather than letting the overalls influence my decision. And speaking of things like customization, how often have you asked for more customization in Madden and you never get it? Things like creating your own team or uniforms instead of choosing from the same prefabricated options year after year. In wildcard football, this was literally the first thing I did for over an hour before I even realized I was doing it. As you get to design everything on your team from uniforms all the way down to the logo and even special ability cards that I will explain in a little bit once I get to the gameplay section. Now, being an Eagles fan, I immediately saw this bird that I unlocked and it looked like an eagle. So I decided to create everything around my eagles at first including the colors of my uniform and all that stuff even calling my team go birds but it wasn't long after i saw all these options available that my creative juices started flowing and i completely changed my team to reflect these awesome flaming skull uniforms from the vanity sections and there's so many great uniforms that i haven't even unlocked and these were just the favorite uniforms that i was given when i unlocked it from the tutorial i mean there's so many great ones on the marketplace that i will eventually want to get all of these I got within the first hour of playing the game, and they all really add to the personality of the team that I am trying to create, as well as give you something to look forward to unlocking in the future, as the uniforms, the wild cards, and the celebrations are some of the best things that make this game the most fun. Now, I don't know everybody's into uniforms, but when I played Spider-Man, I unlocked every Spider-Man uniform in that game, so to me, that's important. And there's a lot on here that I'm going to spend time trying to unlock, including this devil outfit, which looks awesome. 
which brings me to the gameplay section, which is probably the most unique. You have several game modes to choose from here, like quick game, which is going to be your online head-to-head -head regs. You also have a league option, which would be like your CFM franchise mode, and tour mode, which is really like solo challenges to unlock more rewards to build your team, which is what I decided to do at first so I could get that Christian McCaffrey. But I want to focus on the actual gameplay, which is very different from normal football games, both in presentation and gameplay itself. First, the atmosphere is really kid-friendly, as I had my son, who's soon to be eight years old watching this and for the first time in his life it looked like he showed some interest in football due to the on-screen environment and some of the costumes that the characters are wearing so if you're trying to get your child into football for the first time i can't recommend this game enough as they don't even have to be good at the game to have fun with it the presentation first of all is action-based as this game will slow down and trigger animations that look more like mortal Kombat finishing moves like fatalities and brutalities just without the senseless gore as this game wants to keep its family friendly appeal but the gameplay itself feels exactly like the classic NFL Blitz with slowdowns reminding me a lot of the Blitz the League game that came out a couple years later and was still a pretty good game in its own right. One of the things that makes this game stand out the most though is the wild cards themselves that the game is named after. Which is actually inspired by one of my all time favorite features that was only in Madden for one year before they removed it and created MUD. But if you played Madden long enough, you might remember this feature that wildcard football brought back. How it works is every team has the ability to play a wildcard before every single play that will have a specific effect on that play as long as you have enough energy available to use them. The amount of energy that your team has is shown below your team name on the scoreboard itself and the amount of energy required is shown on the card itself. Lower amounts of energy can be used for things like accuracy boost, strength boost, or even speed boost for your team on a specific play. Or you can choose a card that reduces your opponent's abilities in the same categories so if you want to run a stretch to the outside you can just give your running back a speed boost for that play or you can slow your opponent down for an advantage but your opponent will be doing the exact same thing with their cards but you can also choose to play no cards at all and save that energy for better cards with even bigger advantages there are three different type of cards that can be used there are rule breaker cards that can do things like make touchdowns your opponent's score worth less points there are modifiers which can speed up or slow down your players like I went over earlier and last but not least there are specials and this is my favorite this can completely changes the field or the players themselves before the play. This one is definitely my favorite as it reminds me of one of my all-time favorite games in Mutant League Football, which you might have noticed I use sound bites from in my videos from time to time in my gameplays. In that game, you had certain field conditions of stadiums like fire pits on the field or explosive landmines or other obstacles that get in the way of the opposing team, and that is exactly what this adds to the game. As I use the tar pit card multiple times to slow down my opponent, adding a fun new element to the game that regular football games just don't have. You also have things that make the ball carrier disappear called the cloak ball, bumpers that fill up the entire field like a pinball machine, and electrons that give your ball carrier extra protection from tackle attempts. You can even use stolen down, which makes it fourth down for your opponent at any time you use it, but this card requires a full energy bar to use, so you have to save up quite a bit. Now that I went over all the features and how to play the game, I think it's fair to go over certain things that I didn't care for too much. And there really only was one thing, and that was pretty much the presentation when it came to going back to the huddle to choose plays. It felt like they just kind of slapped a graphic over the screen, which you saw a million times, reminding you that you're playing uh, wildcard football and what team's playing against what team, which I really would have preferred something a little bit more organic, maybe some shots of the crowd, maybe some cheerleaders, stuff like that would have been cool. I know that when I keep mentioning Mutant League football, one of my favorite things was the halftime show, where that really added to the presentation, where all you really did was drop bombs on the cheerleaders. It was like throwing footballs that would explode on the cheerleaders and stuff like that. That was a really fun mini game that you got every halftime. And I would love to see uh, wildcard football take that approach and just have like a fun little mini game at halftime or, you know, something like that to get you to look forward to the halftime because no game really has that. And this game's already breaking the mold when it comes to a lot of different things. So it'd really be nice to see them just go the full yard there and try to just add something really cool and unique the same way that would just give you something to look forward to to break up the monotony of a regular football game which they already kind of have going so really my biggest complaint is i want to see them push the envelope more i would like to see them add more abilities more wild cards over time and maybe that's something that we'll only get when they come out with a wild card football 2 or something like that which is really something that i would hope they get to i hope this this company gets enough support that they can build on this because this is a really solid first entry and it really would be interesting to see where it goes from here. 
So in review, if you like games like NFL Street, NFL Blitz, Mutant League Football, fun arcade style games that there really isn't a lot of anymore, I mean, that was like the golden era of alternate games when you had those type of games coming out in regular release and they just don't exist anymore. But this game does. And I hope a lot of you guys watching give this game a try so we can watch this company grow and hopefully bring back more games like this in the future. So if you're looking for a fun arcade style game for yourself or maybe even a younger person in your life, like a friend or a family member, Give this game a try. You'll be glad that you did. So I'm going to end the video there. But if you guys want to see more videos about this game in the future, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And until next time, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.